It is said that one out of every five or six marriages in the United States ends in divorce. And the mecca of the disillusioned bride is Reno, the gay little metropolis of Nevada, which has become world famous through its association with marriage and divorce. A large portion of Nevada's population lives within a 30-mile radius area from Reno. And this fact, added to the ever-increasing number of vacationists and divorce-seeking residents who come here from all parts of the United States, may account for the rather ambiguous sign that arches the city's main street. The immortal wedding marches of Wagner and Mendelssohn become sadly distorted here in the hearts of the countless brides who come and go, freed of their marital obligations, but completely disillusioned in their dreams of conjugal felicity. Much publicity and notoriety has been given to the part of Reno that is known the world over for its lenient divorce laws. It must be remembered that the divorce circle is composed of newcomers, and the average Reno citizens live much the same as any other group of Americans in a city the size of Reno. Nevertheless, the main theme of Reno life revolves around marriage or divorce, and it is interesting to learn that the wedding licenses issued here far exceed the number of divorces granted. Simplicity and lack of red tape have much to do with attracting romantic couples to Reno, where quick service at the celebrated Washoe County Courthouse gets the whole affair over with before the spirit of romance cools off. Up and down the steps of this famous courthouse go the feet of disillusioned divorcees, along with the feet of romantic couples seeking the happiness that the divorcees lost. Occasionally, a divorcee is met in the middle of the steps by a man who induces her to try again. In recent years, some odd customs have been taking root in Reno, and although they are not generally practiced, every now and then a gay divorcee revives the tradition of kissing a pillar of the courthouse, very much as the Blarney Stone is kissed in Ireland, for better luck the next time. Another freak custom which may have originated in the brain of some press agent is the stunt of the disillusioned bride dramatically tossing her belated wedding ring into the Truckee River as a symbol of complete severance from the marriage contract. And so life goes on in Reno, where marriage and divorce walk hand in hand, and respite from the cares of a troubled world may be found in the numerous nightclubs that flash their alluring lights as symbols of solace to some and flashes of gaiety to others. And it is with this thought that we say farewell to romantic Nevada.